Hey guys, so today we're gonna to try an experiment. I got these pieces of fluorite, as you can see here from Ontario, and I got this kind of irony crap on them, which makes them look a little bit less appealing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to try to remove that using this stuff, iron out. Now a buddy of mine, Andrew, gave me this idea, so this, if this works, all the credit goes to him. Congrats, and I hope it works for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in here, empty jug, I'll just cut it. So I can use it as a as a holding unit. I'm gonna put the so uh, uh, fluoride in there and put the iron out with the water. I'm gonna be using distilled water for it. So let me just put that in and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, guys, the specimens are in. Put it in the water and I, I heat up the water a little bit, not too much, just to make the iron out solution stuff work better. All right, I'm just gonna pour some in there. Okay, there we go. There you go, she's bubbling. Okay. There you go. Okay. So my plan is uh, more or less what I learned from Andrew, and I hope I follow his recipe right. I'm gonna leave it in there for a few days. After a few days, I'm gonna take this stuff out, rinse it out, and again, put distilled water and more iron out, and see how that works. And after that, hopefully, all I gotta do is just uh, rinse it out in, iron, in distilled water, let it sit for a bit in the water, and then hopefully it'll be good. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later and show you the this progress. This is a longer shot days. than before. I gave it a week. I so said, see how that would look. And at first glance, it looks pretty nice, but it's just a first glance. So let's take one out and see how it looks. Right. You can see the barite's going all white, so that's kind of nice. I mean, the floor looks great, but if it's going to be like that after a wash, don't know. So I'm going to just put this over here in the sink and get the other piece. See, the other one looks. This was the big one. Yeah. I don't know. Got to give it a wash and put it back in. Hey guys, so here's the end result of my floor at cleaning. It looks a lot better than before. The big guy here looks almost a bit corroded, but I just think it, there was so much debris on top that that's what it was. But definitely much more uh, pale green than, than the brown. You don't even see the brown, it's pretty gone. That one's pretty good. This guy, the really gemmy one is nice. The crystal faces are much more visible. There's no debris in between and the barite. The barite is the most noticeable after effect. You can see it's become extremely white. So it's very nice. So I guess if you have a piece of fluorite that's got barite and it's got that dirty, muddy look to it, this might work. So I think the method works. The only thing I would maybe recommend is to do a little bit shorter bath than I did. I may have put it in too long, been too aggressive, but I'd say if you put it in for a little bit less time, it might be better. Like check it, say every half a day and see how it looks. Well guys, anyway, thanks for watching this video. And uh, once again, I want to thank my buddy Andrew for uh, giving me the idea. All the credit for this idea goes to him. I just wanted to see uh, how it works on my specimens. Okay, guys. And uh, remember, watch his channel. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.